Oh boy, do I love testing. Mmm, give me some testing. Just give me that. Test, like, just... Audio, just all that lovely, you know. Okay, goodbye. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Fallout 3. Now, I am currently streaming this shit. I screwed up. I screwed up. Mom, I screwed up. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. Here we go. <laughs> um. We're gonna be playing some Fallout 3 today. Uh, one of the better Fallouts for that matter. But you know what's freaking fun? Nuclear Winter in Fallout 76. A pleasant surprise, to be completely honest with you. Because I think everyone was anticipating for it to be the worst thing ever. And it's some of the most fun I've had in Fallout 76 so far. It's also the only Battle Royale game I've ever won. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I ended up winning around a nuclear winter. Um, to be fair, pretty much right until the... Well, when we won the game, there was only two of us left, I believe. But, like, right until the end, um, there were all four of us. So I was in a team. I wasn't doing it solo. I prefer to do it solo. The only issue is there's no solo um, option, so if you do it solo, you're going up against teams of people, which you're just going to lose every single time by doing that, unless you somehow manage to get the best weapons known to man, and that kind of, I have a really good strategy, and it gets me a lot of explosive and high-powered weapons. Um, it involves where you spawn and what you do with packing, uh, but that's besides the point because we're not playing that today. We might play it another time, though. That would certainly be interesting. Um, but no, we're going to be playing some Fallout 3, a much better Fallout game. Not by much, but I do prefer Fallout 3 over 76. Um, so this is a live stream, and I'm assuming you're watching this on the VOD. And if you ever want to join or interact with a live stream, you can find me at boost200 underscore 3 on Twitch. And I announce whenever I'm streaming at Boost200 on Twitter, which I already did. I think that's it. Yeah. The last stream we did was the E3 streams. I did a nice little compilation on YouTube. Um, videos, will, videos and streams, for that matter, will be like 10 times more frequent now. Because school's out and I have a hell of a lot of more free time. <laughs> um... I mean, I, I honestly, I'm kind of disappointed. I could have done a lot more videos during the school year. Now, the reason I did like a three or four week break was because of finals, but that's a bit different. But during the school year itself, I really wished I did a lot more in the realm of YouTube, considering I'm still doing my Fallout 4 and GTA series, even though GTA came out in 2013. Although I did start it a bit more recently, so... That doesn't matter. Let's jump in. Now, I don't quite remember what we were doing. I, I was hunting in that, down a Gek, wasn't I? Unfortunately, Fallout 3 has my least playtime because I only, because I want my first experience with the game to be on the stream. 
Oh no, I know what I was doing. So little, uh, okay, so the vault was behind the cave in Little Ant Light, but I can't get past because they're kids and they don't let adults pass. So I was gonna go save one of their friends. I remember. It's kind of far away, actually. Now, if I remember correctly, I thought I fast traveled there. Maybe it was because I was walking the little lamp light. I don't remember. Do I have... Ooh, that's not what I wanted. That's right. I got a few good weapons in this playthrough. Um, but do I have anything to heal with? I got beer. I don't know why I would ever need beer. Uh, HP plus five. I need something a bit better than that. That's right, I remembered I was using drugs. See, drugs in Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 are really, really useless. Well, let me just test the audio real quick. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Kind of loud. Um, ow. Oh, wait a moment, that's a rad scorpion. Yeah, I don't really use drugs in 76 or Fallout 4 because they're useless. Um, but I use them in New Vegas and 3 a lot. Because they are a lot harder games. Part of that's by design, and that's the part that I prefer. The other part of it's because of well, what I'm doing right now, which is the most horrendous gunplay I've ever had. <laughs> part of the reason why I prefer Fallout 4 over the two. <sighs> but yeah, no, Fallout 3's got the least uh, playtime. Fallout 4 has got the most by a long shot. I bet you, thinking about it, if I added up New Vegas 3 and 76, it wouldn't even come close to matching the amount of playtime I put into Fallout 4 because I have put like a millennia into Fallout 4 over both the PC version and the Xbox version. New Vegas is certainly next because I played a lot of New Vegas, then 76, then 3. I played a lot more of 76 than I thought, though. I've got like... 30-something hours into it, which is a lot more than I originally thought. Uh, hello? What, what was that? What? Was that just like a hit-and-run by a super mutant? Just toss a grenade in and just kind of flee? Okay, I'm gonna quick save real quick. I found a raider camp. Actually, if they don't have any strong weapons, this might be kind of useful. That's not useful! Hello. Oh, I know exactly what I want to do. Now, I'm going to let you guys deal with each other. And whoever's victorious, I'll just kill myself. Preferably, I'd prefer it if the raiders kill the super mutant. I can deal with the raiders at a distance. The super mutant's a bit harder, though. Hey, didn't I disintegrate one of your friends over here? Nail board. I don't want raider armor. I kind of like what I'm going for right now with my weird, like, head. I forgot how to... Ah, oh, that's how you go into third person. Yeah, I'll look at myself. You guys just hurried this up already? I think the super mutant's gonna win. Well, let's just get ready then. Oh, but barely at all. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> but you know what? If Bethesda, or yeah, Bethesda, if they released New Vegas on the Switch, once well, still not three, because I wanted my first experience to be. I think my sledgehammer might be broken at the moment. Why do I... Okay, 10 millimeter pistol. You're good, 10 millimeter pistol. Uh, I don't have a good enough repair skill, so I'll just... Drop this one. 32 pistol. You're both crap. Um, there we go. That's good. Oops. Assault rifle. 
Well, I'm doing good in both realms there, so I'll just drop one of you. Don't know why I have a fat man. Um, laser rifle. Why not? There we go. Sledgehammer. Why not? Okay, I shouldn't be over encumbered anymore. Yeah. But no, if Bethesda released New Vegas on the Switch, I can guarantee you my New Vegas hours would be tied with Fallout 4. Because I've run into this issue a lot with New Vegas where I think, okay, I want to play a game. I want to play a Fallout game. And then I think about New Vegas thing with New Vegas is, and this goes for 3 as well, is I'm just the engine is horrendous and I'm never really motivated to play just because it's really, really outdated and it was only made in what 2010 and it just feels really hard to play and I don't have that problem with Fallout 4 so I usually will just go to play Fallout 4 I bet you that I'd enjoy New Vegas more if it was in Fallout 4's... Actually, you know what? I'm going to say this. I'm going to say... What the? Oh, good lord. Are they shooting at me or are they shooting at each other? What's... Okay, they're shooting at each other. There's a... Group of super mutants, I'm assuming they're shooting at raiders. Assault rifle. What, what? Okay, that's that's a ten millimeter. That's a hunting rifle. That's a sledgehammer. And that's a laser pistol. Oh shit, they've seen me. <laughs> um getting really sidetracked. Also, my phone just went off. That's nice. We're gonna run. Oh, good lord almighty, and I'm dead. I am dead. Oh my god. How am I still alive? Just run for it. Run for it. We're gonna just... Oops, I didn't want to rat away, but fine, why not? Gonna do all my sugar bombs. The blood pack, even though they're useless. I'm just going to take a jet real quick. And I thought I was going to live. <laughs> no, if... Oh, not you again. Okay, I'm not dealing with these guys. They didn't have any good loot. Why is my phone vibrating? This is meant to be a professional stream. People are talking about the Battle Royale. And Fallout 76. Okay, phone, you can shut up now. Wait, what? Oh, could you not? You don't even have anything useful on you. Oops. No, I still want to... still want to be in VATS. I'm just... Yeah, the, the rest can go on your head. I apologize if you get disintegrated. Oh no, she just got decapitated. Wrong D, but still, good enough. Okay, could you not? Oh, I keep jumping the hitter with my gun. <laughs> That's a bad um, habit I've gotten into in Fallout 76, because I got a perk, and if you hit people with your gun, it has a chance to... Ooh, dirty water. has a chance to repair your gun. So I've just been hitting people left and right, even though I probably have better options. Dirty water. Instant mash, sugar bombs, Danny Boy apples. Just, just eat everything to heal up. But no, what was I saying? If New Vegas was in Fallout 4's engine, New Vegas would be my favorite Fallout. Guaranteed. But it's not. Which is why I keep praying to God that the very, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Optimistic? It's not optimistic. Um, the very, there's a word I'm looking for here. I can't think about it. The un, I guess unlikely, but that's still not what I was thinking about saying. But the unlikely 
event that the Fallout 4 New Vegas mod gets finished, which is they're remaking New Vegas in Fallout 4's engine, and the un unlikely event that that's get that, oh, good lord, that that gets finished, New Vegas will most certainly be my favorite Fallout. But then I run into a little issue where do I consider New Vegas my favorite Fallout or Fallout 4 my favorite Fallout? Because it's still in, oh, that's Enclave. Because it's still in Fallout 4's engine, and my solution to that is, I guess I'll remove New Vegas from my list of the best games of all time, and then I will put New Vegas Fallout 4 as a separate game and put it somewhere else on the list. Can you guys deal with the uh, bugs instead of me, preferably? Thank you. Really wish I could have sided with the Enclave in this game. I actually don't like Fallout 3 that much. <laughs> There's also a project to remake Fallout 3 in Fallout 4's engine, but that one's a bit different. Well, no, it's, it's done by the same people. What ended up happening was they were going to make Fallout 3 in, in Fallout 4's engine. They ended up getting shut down by Bethesda because they were using Fallout 3's voice files. Now, I'm no programmer, but... My solution to this would have been to implement a software to ensure that the um, player owns both Fallout 4, that's a Yagwai, and Fallout 3. Like I said, I'm not a programmer. I don't know how easy that would be. Um, so they got shut down by Bethesda, um, but then they started working on Fallout 4 New Vegas, and they're actually hiring voice actors to remake voice lines, and I'm going to be honest with you, I heard some of the voice lines that they're doing, and it's nearly indistinguishable. Well, let me rephrase that. It's distinguishable if you listen to them back-to-back, -back, the different voice lines, one from the mod, one from New Vegas, okay? But if you're just playing the mod, you are not going to notice them except for a few very iconic characters. But it's really similar to New Vegas, so. And then, more recently, okay, because re got to remember, Fallout 4, sorry, they got to rename these, like, to Project Something or Other. Actually, no, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 had a name, it was Project Something or Other, but Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4 didn't have a name. You just have to call it Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, which just kind of sounds kind of stupid. Um, but they actually brought back the Fallout 3 version. They started development again. Which is kind of nice. I'm loving how little delay I'm having on the stream right now. That was really annoying in E3 how much of a delay I had. What level am I at? Out of curiosity. Stats. Oh, I'm only level 7. I don't know if I should be in this area if I'm only level 7. I'm going to do another quick save. <laughs> Tell me what is that? That looks like Flicker Town population. 76. I don't know. So I, I mean, I haven't had as many visual bugs in Fallout 76, but literally today I load into the game, the adventure mode, not the battle royale. I load into the game and everything is purple. Everything is purple. Everything just, and it's not like the missing texture thing that you get in like source games. It's, no, it's just like a purple tint has been put over every, everything. Is there a robo brain? Why is there a robo brain? Ha! Ah, crap! Uh. <laughs> I'm all the way back here. Screw it, we're running. We're just running. 
I'd love to find like an empty shack, you know, with maybe a bed. That would be nice, just to heal all that health. I wish Fallout 4 was more difficult. Like, I enjoy... The issue is, Fallout 4 is not difficult, even in extra hard mode. It just kind of turns a little frustrating. Because Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, I'm constantly wondering, how can I use all of these different features to my advantage? Whereas in Fallout 4, I only do that in survival mode, and sometimes I don't want to play survival mode. Because when you play hard, you're still at a, like a huge abundance of stim packs, healing items, and all this other stuff. It's just a case of, you know, kill the enemy before he's able to get some hits off of you, and then you heal, and blah, 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 blah. And that's an extra hard mode. Like I said, it only becomes fun in survival mode, and I just sometimes don't want to play survival mode. Like, I've, that's what I've always enjoyed, because some people say Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas are too difficult. I disagree. I say you're not playing the game right. You're taking certain features of the game, and you're saying, well, I don't know how to use that, so I'm not going to use that. Drugs being a brilliant example. Unless you're doing a playthrough where you're not allowed to use drugs, or your character's really built... Not to use drugs at all. Vicious dog. I don't need you right now. Then you should really start trying to use other features. Use the Fallout logic to beat the Fallout game. That's my favorite saying. Huh. <sighs> only been live for 23 minutes, and I've walked barely anywhere. Oh, but I'm here. Paradise Falls. So what did they say? These are raiders that kidnap children? That's nice. It's not, but... You know, it's the wasteland. What do you expect? Get in this way. Okay, is this going to be like an interior area? Let's go in that door. I think this is a great example of we're just going to make this an interior area. Kind of like Megaton. And the strip and all that loveliness. Oh, Witcher 3 is going on Switch. Literally, if, if they do a good job at putting Witcher 3 on Switch, there is no doubt in my mind that Bethesda can put uh, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas on the Switch. Because quite literally, if The Witcher 3 works, I, if The Witcher 3 works, I bet you there's even a possibility that Fallout 4 could work. It's not going to, because it's Bethesda. But, like, you know, I'm even, like, as much as I love CD Projekt Red, I'm having a hard time believing that they're going to be able to put The Witcher 3 on the Switch. Okay, I'm starting to question if this place even has an entrance. And out of curiosity, who built a big shopping center out in the middle of nowhere? Like, just a random valley. I wonder what the borders of Fallout 3 are like. Bet you it's just invisible walls. Here we go. Took me long enough. I just had to walk around the entire complex. By the looks of it, no, it's actually not an interior area. Hold it right there. Nobody's allowed into Paradise Falls except on flavor food. Wait. And they I weren't raiders? What qualifies as flavor food. Uh. 
wait, so it was child slaves, not, okay. <laughs> I thought it was just raiders. No, it's just child slavery. That, that's, that's, that's nice. Karma. I don't have time to chit-chat. The help let me in already. Why can't I go up there? Why not? There's two kinds of people who get into Paradise Falls. Slaves and slavers. Oh, I'm not going to go enslaving anybody, so... A slave, piss off. I could do a, uh... The pit. And act like I am a slave. No, I'm not... I know I got a guaranteed chance of doing that, but I'm not going to bribe him. I'm kind of curious if this is going to give me good karma or bad karma. Because, like, this is a slaver that I'd be saying that to, but it's not the nicest thing to say. I'm going to just make a prediction and say that this is positive karma. There's no need to flex. I was just playing with you. We know who you are. You can what? Friendly warning. Don't act like a jackass. Well, that wasn't the response I was expecting. <laughs> and how do they know who I am? I've barely done shit. Okay. Sure thing. That's enough. Oh, I know what it was. It was karma saying that I've established. Okay, that makes more sense. It's saying that I've established a reputation. Because that's right, karma gives you benefits. I'm just being stupid. Oh, no, and it's because I had bad karma from earlier because of what I did in uh, the simulation fall. That makes sense. Oh, good lord. What did I step on to make that noise? I wish there was more RPG elements like that in 4 and... 76. Paradise Falls Gate. Ooh. Sammy. Hello. Are you one of the people I was looking for? Uh, that was not the voice I was expecting to come out of your mouth. Also, I'm going to holster my gun real quick. Forgot how to holster my gun. There we go. Why don't... Who are you, Micah? 40. Yeah, you look like a 40. <laughs> you got the beard of a Micah, though. It's another feature I like. I saw this a lot more in Skyrim than in New Vegas and 3, but they actually kind of get a little pissy with you if you don't holster your weapon. Which I always kind of like. Hello. I'm sorry. I didn't leave shopping carts and what sounded like bones out there around the place. Why do you have a big sea mine? Oh, no, it's a sea urchin is what it's meant to look like. I think, because it's paradise. The meat pen. Yeah, no, I'm good. Hey, has anyone seen any child slaves around? Ooh, I'm gonna have to do a brief intermission real quick. Because I have to get something done. But I will be right back. I said I... <sighs> there we go.
Sorry about that. Okay, I'm back. Fallout 3, don't crash on me. I know I tabbed out, and you have a tendency to crash when I tab out. Oh, I beg of you. <laughs> oh, we might have issues. <laughs> oh, I've screwed myself now. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, back to the intermission screen while I get things worked out. I said back to the inter... Okay, so I'm in the game, but I can't see the game. I can't see my mouse either. Everything is fine. Everything's working. It's not all burning and on fire. Well, music stopped, but I still can't... Can't see my mic. My mic? My mouse. Shift tab. Give me that lovely Steam interface. Shift tab. Okay. You see, here's the issue. I can't open up Task Manager because I don't have a mouse. <laughs> okay, let's try and do... Nope. That command isn't going to work. i got to think, what are some keyboard commands I can use in a situation like this? Keyboard commands. Windows key isn't working. The Steam command isn't working. Uh, I tried moving the window. That's not doing anything because there is no window. <laughs> How can you move a window when there is no window? Oh, God, I love you, games from 2009. You just work wonderfully on Windows 10. Let's try forcing the window to close. Is it Alt-W or Control-W? Whatever it was, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Oh. This is not a situation I really wanted to be a part of right now. I might have to shut down my computer. The stream's dead! Okay, guys, well, the stream's dead for good. <laughs> Sorry, this one was a little short. Looks like I'll just have to go back another time and play some more Fallout 3. I had a decent viewer count on that one, too. I still have a decent viewer count. You, got, you idiots are sticking around. But no, no. The one time I get a decent viewer count, okay, and I'm having fun playing, the stream dies. Well, the stream's not dead. My computer's dead is what's happening. The stream's working just fine. I got a connection better than ever. It delays virtually nothing. <sighs> Adios. Now, if you ever want to join or interact with one of these garbage fires, you can. I stream Voost200 underscore 3 on Twitch, and I announce whatever I'm streaming at Voost200 on Twitter. <sighs> well, that is it for this stream, and I will see you in the next dumpster fire. Goodbye! How do I do this? Let's just turn the power supply off and hope nothing explodes.